you thinking about buying a home in the colony and wondering if it'd be a good fit for you or not? Well, perfect, because today's video, we're gonna talk about the good, and there is a lot of good about living in the colony. A lot of my favorite places to go in all of DFW are in the colony. But there's definitely some cons that need to be talked about as well, so you can figure out if it's actually a good place for you to live or not. The colony is positioned on the north side of the Dallas Metro within Denton County. It's located only about 28 miles north of downtown Dallas, just south of Frisco on the west side of Dallas North Tollway on the banks of Louisville Lake. In fact, the colony is also known as the city by the lake because of its proximity and views of Lake Louisville. So what makes the colony so attractive to some people and not so attractive to others? Well, we're going to jump into that right now. We're going to start with the pros and we're going to end with the cons. So make sure to stick around to the end because we're going to definitely talk about some things that need to be considered before you move to the colony. By the way, my name is Michael Carraway. I'm a realtor here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. And on this channel, we talk about what it's like to live in the Dallas, Texas Metro, as well as some of the best places to live. So you can find out once and for all if Dallas is a good fit for you or not. All right, the first pro to living in the colony is its location. I'm gonna pull up a map and show you some of the popular spots that are close to the colony and how you have convenient access to a lot of places in all of DFW Metro from the colony. All right, so I've got the map pulled up of the colony and you can see right here that the colony kind of borders mostly north of Sam Rayburn, a little bit up here as well, and then a little bit south of Sam Rayburn as well, getting close over to uh, the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve. So the colony is not a huge footprint compared to some of these other suburbs, but it does have a decent footprint. Now, because you're so close to Sam Rayburn Tollway, this gives you access to a lot of the DFW Metro in a really quick way. And Sam Rayburn Tollway is one of my favorite tollways because it doesn't ever really get super backed up. Now, if you were in the colony, you could hop on Sam Rayburn Tollway, head up, up to Dallas North Tollway, and get north up into all of the amenities that Frisco offers, such as the Star, which is right here. You're probably about 10 minutes away from the Star if you live in the colony. Uh, you can get up into downtown Frisco area uh, right up here in 10 to 15 minutes or you can get up as far as you know up into like the new PGA development in probably about 15 to 20 minutes. So you are really close to all the amenities that people are after in Frisco if you do live in the colony right here. Now you're also really close to Legacy West which is one of the most popular destination areas to go in uh, all of DFW Metro. It's a lot of high-end shopping, a lot of great places to dine. They've got Legacy Food Hall, it has a ton of different unique vendors, food vendors inside and a great place to go grab drinks. There's a rooftop, really cool place to go. Uh, so you're you know five to 10 minutes away from Legacy West if you live in the colony. Now the other place that I love when you get down into the colony, it's not too far away, is the shops at Willow Bend. And if you're in the colony, the shops at Willow Bend are just a 12 minute drive away. You're just gonna hop on Sam Rayburn, head north, then hit Dallas North Tollway to head south. And you're gonna go down here, there's a huge entertainment district in the shops at Willow Bend, a lot of great shopping and dining. And along Dallas North Tollway right here, there's just a ton of restaurants uh, that are really good. Some of my favorites are Whiskey Cake and 60 Vines, which are just a little bit north of uh, the shops at Willow Bend. So definitely a place that's worth checking out and something you can get really close to if you live in uh, the colony. The other place that you can get relatively quickly is the Galleria Dallas. And you're about 21 minutes away if you live in the colony. It's just getting on Dallas North Tollway and heading straight south into Addison, a little bit south of Addison. And you get in, into Galleria Dallas and it's just a massive mall with high-end shopping and a cool destination place to go if you're looking for something to do on the weekend. So you're not too far away from some of the amenities that are a little bit closer to downtown Dallas if you live in the colony. Now the other place that people are always asking about is how close is the colony to DFW International Airport? Well, it's pretty close. As you can see on the map here, it says it take about 15 minutes. It's only 15 miles away from Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport. So a really easy drive on Sam Rayburn Tollway to get down to Dallas International Airport. Uh, so that's a great spot as far as uh, the, the airport goes if you're gonna need to use that a lot. And the most noteworthy part of the colony, which we're gonna talk about even more here in a little bit, is Grandscape. And that's actually in the colony. It's a huge development, lots of entertainment, shopping and dining and all of this area right here. We're gonna dive deeper into that here in a little bit, so make sure to stick around for that. Uh, but just know that you have that right in your back door uh, if you are living in the colony. Tons of things to do there, not a huge amount of reason to be able to, to have to go to some of these surrounding suburbs because you have so much here. 
And that leads us to our second pro of living in the colony, which is the amount of entertainment that is available within the colony. Now I already mentioned Grandscape, so let's start with that. Grandscape is one of my favorite places, you know, beyond Legacy West. You know, Legacy West is a great spot if you're looking for more of a high-end experience. You get your luxury shopping and a little bit higher-end restaurants in Legacy West. Whereas Grandscape is just a really awesome destination place that's really family friendly and has a lot of different variety of things to do, especially on the entertainment side. The Grandscape is the colony's premier entertainment, dining, and retail district. It spans over 433 acres and features several first to market experiences found only in the colony. As an example, Portillo's, which is a really famous Chicago staple, they're known for, I believe it's the Italian beef uh, sandwiches that they have. Uh, they just opened up a location in the Grandscape and it's been absolutely crazy how busy it's been. But you're seeing, you see restaurants like that that are popular in other areas, they're opening up in the Grandscape because it's just a popular place for families to go check out. And obviously it's working for Portillo's and it works for other restaurants that end up opening up or other entertainment concepts that open up in Grandscape. You got tons of dining within Grandscape. You've got Nebraska Furniture Mart. It's, I believe it's the world's biggest furniture store. It's massive. People literally like, I know people that just go to, to uh, Nebraska Furniture Mart on the weekend just to kill time and check out the furniture. I believe there's like coffee shops and some dining options uh, in Nebraska Furniture Mart. It is a operation. So it's worth checking out if you do come to the area. You've got entertainment options like the puttery. You've got go-karting at Andretti Indoor Karting and Games. You've got a movie theater there. There's a Ferris wheel. There's escape rooms and just a ton more entertainment options at Grandscape. There's also several different options for live music in Grandscape. One of those being in the actual Grandscape Town Center. There's outdoor concerts that Grandscape holds. Um, they do have more local uh, bands come and play usually, but there has been some big names that do perform there. So it's really cool. There's a huge amphitheater outside uh, and families just kind of sit out, listen to music. You can go get some food and bring it out into the amphitheater area to be able to eat and listen to music. There's rooftops that surround the amphitheater that you can sit up there and listen to music. So it's a really cool environment. And within Grandscape, you also have Lava Cantina, which is a restaurant and bar that has live music all the time. Uh, there's just a ton of cool bands that go through there and it's a good environment if you're looking for some live music in the DFW Metro. And the last place I'll bring up is The Shacks. The Shacks is a dining bar and dog park concept in the Grandscape area. It's really cool. Like imagine craft beer, delicious food, live music, and quality time with your pup. Like it's a cool spot to go and a great place to meet people if you're new to the area. All right, the third pro to living in the colony is that I think it deserves the name of Golf Heaven. Like literally there's so much around golf that's happening in the colony that it definitely deserves a title as one of the go-to spots in all of DFW Metro if you are an avid golfer or just more of a casual golfer. You obviously have a lot of options as far as golf courses go. As an example, you've got Stewart Peninsula Golf Course, the Tribute Golf Links, and the Old American Golf Club. These are very nice golf courses, championship level golf courses, and they're absolutely beautiful because a lot of them do sit on Lake Louisville, so you got views for days. Now for the more casual golfer, or if you're looking for something just to do outside of the golf course, you can check out a lot of different golfing entertainment options in the colony specifically. One of the places you should check out in the Grandscape area is the Puttery. And the Puttery is a huge building that has multiple mini golf courses inside that you can go have a drink. They have themed drinks for each golf course, uh, depending on which one you select. There's really good food. There's a cool rooftop that looks over the amphitheater if you're looking for live music. Just a really cool place to go hang out with some friends. You also have Top Golf, which you've probably heard of because it's popular in many, many states. But there's a Top Golf in the colony, so that's an amazing spot to be able to go hit some golf balls with friends uh, and be able to have some food and drinks. And the most recent addition to the Grandscape area is Pop Stroke. I'm actually really excited to check this out. It's a place where you can eat, drink, and putt. And the, the putting course is all designed by Tiger Woods. So they're really elaborate, really cool courses. And from the pictures I've seen, you know, it's a really cool environment. They've got such, just a ton of different things wrapped up into each course that I'm excited to check out. And I'm not a huge golfer, um, but I'm excited to do it anyways because it'll be a fun place to go hang out with friends and family. But the fourth pro to living in the colony is the outdoor recreation. 
The colony features 28 parks with over 2,500 acres of parkland, one of the highest acres of parks per capita in the entire state of Texas. Now there's been creative agreements made with the city and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers that has led to an award-winning trail system that winds through acres of wildlife management areas along the shoreline of Louisville Lake. So if you are into hiking and into being able to get out and to explore some nature and some natural scenery, this is a great place to go because it's hard to beat the uh, ability to be able to see a lake while you're hiking. Now being in the colony, it's a huge advantage because you are right next to Lake Louisville. There's 23 miles of shoreline along the eastern coast of Louisville Lake, which is one of North Texas's largest bodies of water. So if you're into camping, fishing, swimming, hiking, and biking, like this is an amazing spot for you to be. You can also rent boats, you can go paddle boarding or kayaking, uh, and there's a full service marina inside Hidden Cove Park. So a lot of options for you to, to be able to pursue if you're into more of the natural and, and water scene that comes along with being next to a lake. All right, the fifth pro to living in the colony is actually one of its neighborhoods. So this is only going to apply if you're specifically looking in this neighborhood, and that neighborhood is the Tribute. Now, according to the website, the Tribute was designed for homeowners to find enjoyment in every single day. The peninsula is a golfer's paradise, but non-golfers appreciate the clubhouse with on-site gourmet restaurants. The neighborhood is beautifully landscaped. There's canals throughout the development that offer really awesome views that you can enjoy your morning coffee with. There's two resort style pools and a separate kids spray park with nearby playgrounds that offer residents either a relaxing or exciting day in the water with family. There's miles of winding scenic hike and bike trails and hundreds of acres of wide open spaces and the tribute was designed as a natural habitat made to endure from this generation to the next. So like I said, this is a really popular area. You have homes that are as cheap as the $500,000 range and obviously it goes up into the million dollar range in the tribute. There's some awesome homes there. Definitely worth checking out if you're in those price points. Uh, what really stands out about the Tribute from my perspective is the natural scenery with having Lake Louisville in the background and just all the landscaping they've done within the community. It's super, super beautiful. You also have access to hundreds of acres of open space. So if you're into hiking and just like to get out and maybe go with the dog and let the dog run around, it's a great place for that. And obviously if you're a golfer, it's amazing because you are right. It's a golf course community. So you're right on the golf course. You have access to the clubhouse at any point to be able to go hang out and have a beer or be able to actually dine in one of the restaurants over there. So it's a really cool area. You see a lot, a lot of golf carts in that community. Uh, definitely worth checking out. All right, the sixth pro of living in the colony is that it's relatively affordable. I'd say the affordability kind of falls right in the middle of what you can expect in the DFW Metro. The median sales price has fluctuated over the past few months anywhere from the mid 400s all the way up to the mid 500s. But to actually show you what you can get at each price point, I want to pull up a few homes so you can get an idea. Alright, to kick this off, we're going to focus on the $400,000 range. And this home in particular is listed at $427,000. It's a 4 bed, 2 bath, 2,000 square foot home. And as you can see, the curb appeal is really nice. It's typical of a $400,000 home in North Texas. You got your brick exterior, it's a little more traditional, but absolutely beautiful. You get inside and you can see that it is a little dated as far as the flooring goes. There's been some updates, uh, small updates like paint, but a really well-maintained home with a decent layout that a lot of people would really love. Uh, so a great home for $400,000. All right, the second price point we're gonna look at is the $600,000 range. And this home in particular is listed at $664,000. It's a four bed, three bath, 2,900 square foot home with a really nice Texas curb appeal, uh, brick exterior, and you can see the inside of this one has been updated quite a bit with the new flooring and paint everywhere. Really nice, honestly, look uh, and good layout, updated cabinets, uh, just really nice home in that $600,000 range with a big footprint. It's a, it's a pretty good sized house for $600,000. And the last price point we're gonna look at is the $800,000 range. And this home in particular is listed at $824,000. It's located in the Tribute neighborhood, which we talked about a little bit ago. And you can see right from the get-go, that this is a little bit more of a modern and newer home than the other two that we've looked at, which is what you're gonna find in the Tribute. This home in particular is four beds, three baths, and just over 2,400 square foot. And you can see that it is a really nice house. You've got the really nice flooring, you got really nice paint colors. The kitchen is absolutely beautiful with the gas range and all the really just high-end finishes that they have in there. It's more of an open layout. 
just a beautiful, beautiful layout. A lot of people like this particular layout in Texas. So it's a really nice home when you get into that $800,000 range that you get the size and you get the really nice finishes and the really more modern layout. All right, so we've talked about all the pros and now we need to talk about the cons because there's some here that you really need to hear before you make the decision to move to the colony. The first con to living in the colony is its crime rate. Now, I've never personally witnessed any crime in the colony and I've never heard anybody necessarily talk about it, but I like to look at websites like niche.com to get a perspective on a more data-driven approach uh, to things like crime, for example. And according to niche.com, the crime and safety rating for the colony is a C+. As far as violent crimes go, this is all calculated annually per 100,000 residents. In the colony specifically, there were 159 assaults compared to 282 nationally. There was four murders compared to six nationally. There were 238 rapes, which is compared to 40 nationally. And there were 19 robberies compared to 135 nationally. Now moving over to property crimes, there were 92 and a half burglaries, which is compared to 500 nationally. There were 2,089 thefts compared to 2,042 thefts nationally. And more motor vehicle theft, there were 130.8 compared to 284 nationally. So definitely something to consider if you're looking to move to the colony. The second con is that there's really no public transportation. And this is a con to a lot of the North Dallas suburbs. There's just not a lot of public transportation available. So you are really relying on cars. Things aren't close enough to be able to walk everywhere and you have major, major streets that you just don't necessarily feel safe walking across all the time to be able to get to your, your places that you need to go every day, like the grocery store or to the office or all that kind of stuff. It's just not super walkable. And you just don't really have options for buses or you know more of a light rail type scenario in the colony. So you're gonna have to have a car uh, unless you're just planning on staying at home all the time. And the third con to living in the colony is that, to be honest, in my opinion, Grandscape is about the only destination worth going to in the colony. Now don't get me wrong, Grandscape is an amazing place to go and my family finds ourselves in Grandscape all the time, so it is an amazing spot to have close to you. And to be honest, you probably don't need to go anywhere else other than Grandscape. And with all the different amenities around the colony, like Frisco, Plano, uh, and then getting into North Dallas, where you have a lot of different entertainment options around you, you don't necessarily have to have all the entertainment within the colony specifically, but it's worth calling out that really within the colony, again, this is personally just my opinion, there's not a ton of places to go outside of Grandscape if you're looking for entertainment or dining or shopping. So that's something to consider, but that being said, you do have a lot of options really close to you around if you want something uh, that's a little bit different than Grandscape. So no matter where you are in the process, reach out. I'd love to help you find the right place to call home here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. Shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email anytime. Seriously, I'm here to help you find the perfect place to call home here in the Dallas, Texas Metro. Until next time, I'll see you later.